In this video, we'll demonstrate practice for suturing with Castro Viejos. The more you practice outside the operating room, the more prepared you'll be in the operating room and the more you'll get to do. Start with a simple forehand throw, loading the needle properly and taking small equal bites on each side. Note that with each grasp of the needle, the needle is adjusted to have the proper orientation of the needle to prepare yourself for the next bite. Note as well, that all the action with the needle and the needle driver happens in the field, not off the field. Meaning that the needle is loaded here, adjusted, and then pulled forward rather than happening off the field. The use of assistant can be very helpful, and when using an assistant, you want them to get the pull to suture in the direction of the suture line, meaning in the same direction that you're pulling the suture through the blood vessel. After practicing forehand, it's time to practice backhand. That is one of the greatest utilities of the Castro Viejos is enabling backhand suturing and making it not so awkward as it would be with regular needle drivers. Again, the action should happen in the field of view and not out of the field of surgical view, particularly when using surgical telescopes or loops. Notice again that with each grasp of the needle, the needle is adjusted to prepare and orient yourself properly. Note as well that to get the suture to come down evenly across the anastomotic area that we're distracting the two edges of the graft as we pull the suture up and have the suture come down across the anastomosis. After practicing backhand, it's now time to take it to the next level and switch backwards and forwards from backhand to forehand. Notice that we're taking a forehand bite, adjusting the needle, and now taking a backhand bite this is very common in vascular surgery and very helpful if you're prepared to do this. After each bite, note that we'll grasp the needle at the forward portion and use the other instrument to rotate around at that pivot point to simply swivel the needle so that we can enable it to be grasped again in the proper place. Grasping forward, swiveling, and then grabbing, orienting, and then pulling forward. That way we're prepared after we pull up to come back down and take the next bite. During practice, focus to get the maximum benefit. First, focus on needle handling. Proper positioning of the needle within the needle driver, passing it back and forth between needle driver and forceps and back again, positioning for forehand and then backhand. Next, work on proper bites, sizing and spacing, and lastly, speed. It's important that you do these in these sequence. Again, practice a lot outside the operating room. It will pay off inside the operating room. Thank you for watching.